Hey everyone, Blau aka Cove here, and today we're going over a very powerful protocol called ArtNet. ArtNet is a protocol that carries over raw DMX to your DMX devices and lights over a network. This is extremely useful for setups that need a wireless signal so you don't have everything connected straight to your router. And it's the ideal solution for most professionals. Before we begin, you'll need two things, a ArtNet node and a DMX device or devices. So to get started, you'll first need your DMX device. There are thousands of options to choose from. There are moving heads, spider heads, par lights, light bars, light strips even, and so much more. You can even have a smoke machine hooked up using ArtNet. Today, I'm using a U-King moving head as well as the OPPSK wash light. Just note that if you get multiple DMX devices, you'll need multiple DMX cables. I'm using three pins, so I'm gonna have a three pin cable. Next, we'll need an ethernet DMX device. Now there aren't many options to choose from here, but some of the more popular ones are DMX King, which is what I have, a Chauvet DJ stage light accessory, and the Intec ODE. You'll need to directly connect this straight to your router using ethernet so it becomes an artnet node on your network. So as I mentioned, I'm using a DMX King, so I also had to download this companion software called edmx which allows you to set up your ip address as well as your port and you know you could even test out your dmx devices straight from the software before you move it to lumia stream and this is pretty much how it looks it'll automatically find your dmx device you can go to view dmx display and i can literally transmit my data here so i know my channel six is uh dimmer and my channel seven is red so that's why it's showing red right now i could also do channel you know for green as well and it's a quick way to, you know, find out what channels map to what if you can't find your manuals, which we're about to go over. Just make sure that this is not open when you have Lumia Stream open because our net is normally connected to one thing at a time. So it can be connected to both. So after you have your DMX devices, next up, we'll need to grab our manuals. You can normally find your user manual with your box that came with the DMX device. But if you like me, you probably lost it. And I had to actually Google it to find my manual. You can just Google your DMX device and type in user manual and most likely you'll find it on Google. And the reason why you need your manual is because you need to figure out which channel maps to which function on your DMX device. So as I just showed, my channel six is my dimmer, which is the most important thing that you're going to need to know. And in my channel seven is my red function. So for my moving head, I'm using the channel mode 14 and it's starting on channel one. Now what channel mode 14 means is that it's just going to use 14 channels in my universe. So that means I can't have any other device within those 14 channels unless, you know, I want them to overlap. But my watch light has the option using three or 52 or anything in between there. But I can't actually find a manual for my, my OPPSK watch light. So I'm going to use the three channel because I know those three channels are going to map to R, G and B and there won't be any dimmer. And my watch light is going to start on channel 20. So I know channel 20, 21 and 22 is going to map to my watch light RGB. But my moving head, I do have a manual for it. And I know channel six is my dimmer, seven is red eight is green and nine is blue now we're ready to move on to lumia stream so i'm gonna close my edmx and open up lumia stream i'm gonna go to connections add new connection and type in artnet press connect now i'm gonna have to enter my ip address this is the ip address of your artnet node so i know my ip address is on and I'm going to enter a friendly name. So I'm just going to enter DMX King and my universe is actually going to start on zero for my DMX King universe to start at zero. Make sure you read your manual. If you get a different uh, ArtNet note, I know DMX King starts on zero and then moves from there. So I'm going to press next. If you have more universes, make sure you add them. But I only have one universe on channels on universe zero. So I'm going to press next and I'm going to press refresh. Now it should be connected to your ArtNet node. So I'm going to go to commands and we're going to create a new command that's going to trigger my DMX devices to turn them red. So I'm going to call this ready. And next up, I'm going to go to the ArtNet tab. I'm going to choose my universe. So universe zero DMX king. And then I'm going to choose my channels. Now, as I mentioned before, I know channel six is my dimmer. I want to always make sure my dimmer is on 255 or lower uh, if I want to change the brightness. So I'm going to do that as 255. I'm going to change channel seven to 255 as well, which is my red value. I'll create a preset and test this out. And you see my light turn red back there. One other quick tip is that if I wanted to change multiple channels at a time, I could have just did six comma seven comma eight. And I'll change those three channels to 255 at the same time. Just make sure you enter your universe again, create preset and test it out. So now I have like this yellowish color. And then one last thing you could do, you could have just did six to eight and then 255 that, that's a range when you do the hyphen 
So six to eight means channel six, seven, eight will be 255. I'll create a preset and test this out as well. And you see the yellow, same yellow color. So three ways to skin the same cat. And this is useful if you have multiple devices on your universe. So I know that I have multiple devices. So I'm actually gonna use this method. First, I'm gonna select the universe zero again. Then I'm gonna do channel six, comma seven, and then comma 20, which is my wash light. I'm gonna do 255, add a value, create preset, and then test this out. So my channel eight is actually still on because I never actually reset it. I never reset this back to zero, which is what we're gonna do in the end tab. So now that I have my lights on, I have my lights going on and off because I have an end state that I didn't remove. But yeah, so now I'm gonna go to the end tab and I'm gonna turn these lights back off. So I'm gonna do channel six, seven, and I'm gonna turn off eight as well. And I'm gonna do channel 20 and revert that back to zero. Just so I make sure that I'm always consistent with my values and I know that everything's always gonna be back on zero. If you don't wanna do this, you don't have to, you don't have to put back your dimmer to zero. Uh, so you don't have to turn it every time to 255. Uh, but it's up to you you can you know use it how you want to use it uh next up is i'm going to go back to the general tab and just make sure my duration is correct i have this at four seconds and for me that's fine if you want to change your duration you can do it you could even type in any value that you want here so 40 seconds is valid just know that after the duration is over it's going to hit that in tab uh, which is going to revert my lights back so i'll press apply refresh and now if i go to my chat commands i could just put in ready and test it out and there we go so it flashed red for four seconds and then it turned off four seconds and then it turns off perfect so that's how to simply set that up you can do the same thing with twitch points switch extensions you can even do it with alerts you can have you know your moving head turn around or do something crazy and then go back to default state uh, you can change your different colors this is just the basics of artnet and we're just trying to give you a taste of what you can do with it there's so much more coming and there's so much more to be revealed. So please stay along for the ride and check out our other tutorials. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video. Have a luminous day.